Look at that right there. Now I did speak with some of the former students who made that happen, showing us that black history isn't just a thing of the past. It's being made right now. And what grade were you in during this? In the year, I think I was, uh, I was seventh grade. My sister was eighth. That's her. Having a sister is like having a built-in best friend. We've come a long way. <laughs> and for these sisters, Ethel Harris Moffin and Brenda Harris Jackson, they're celebrating a recent win in their hometown. You grew up here your entire life? Twice. Born and raised. Raise. Graduated, got married, moved away, and came back. And raised all my kids and grandkids. Grandkids who will now know her former school as a historical marker. That's a blessing, because all these years since Washington, no news reporter has, has ever been interested to town to want to know anything about Washington. This is cool with so much history. Everybody went to this campus. But first we had to backtrack. Before Washington, there was Blackshear. The school served as Grosbeck ISD's all-black school from 1922 to 1957. And we did our best to, uh, to progress and to finish because the purpose of going to school is to learn. And in 1957, black Grosbeck ISD students continued to learn, but at Washington High. It was named in honor of Blackshear's principal, Nelson Washington, and served kids first through 12th grade. It was Washington. That's all we knew. Integration started in 1965 with a freedom of choice policy. I was a junior when we were forced to go to Grosbeck High School. Washington ended up closing in 1969, but the main building still stood until 2018. But this was our original cafeteria during the time we were here. It is now a cafe for culinary students, while the gym is still being used for middle school students. I really like that, but I believe that it should be more. In September 2023, more finally came. After at least two rejections, Washington finally became a Texas historical marker but now there's a push for the same to happen to Blackshear. It's history. Uh, uh, you know, for us, it's history. So seeing all this happen, do you think more still needs to be done? I don't see a lot of progress that has been made being grown back since that time period, the 70s. But for now, these sisters are celebrating this win. It was interesting, different. <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that was a really great story, yeah. Micah. They made it, and, and I think something that's really special about that is her saying, you know, after all these years, no one came to talk to them about this and to see that, I mean, that was not that long ago. For sure. They're still living to tell the story and making sure that people know about yes. it um, because people think these things, oh, it's so long ago. No, uh -huh. it was very recent. Very recent. And you said where you guys were sitting, that was the former gym or cafeteria? Cafeteria. The former cafeteria. Yeah, wow. they're using it, and they're still using the former gym as mm -hmm. the middle school gym. Wow, love it, love it.